Juicy baby. <laughs> like. So it's you, her, and Blue Eye. Those are the three ladies in this house that I'm kind of like, in one way or the other, there's just that. Where the where the where the where it's the last four where yeah, the, you know, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, you know. Okay. Juicy J proved himself one more time. He had an interesting discussion with Ipeleng today, expressing his feelings for her as well as telling her that he has two other ladies he fancies in the house. It is so cool. Ipeleng completely understood him. Juicy baby. Wait, oh, so you never subscribe, you never click on the like button. Ha! Click on it now. Now, 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 now. AY Square so far. She so far so to bring this content for you as it is hot. So support her now. Subscribe now. Click on the like button. I see the hot. I see the pepper. You see Jay further explained that he talked about his three love interests to the guys and that Ipeleng shouldn't fault him for that. He also said that he misjudged Vaughn. He felt Vaughn was giving him lusty vibes but when he moved closer to her he understood that she is a serious person that wanted a serious relationship. I want to keep my cards open. Yeah, go ahead. And you know what I mean? And just try and obviously connect with, with you guys as much as I can. And as at yesterday, Juicy J talked with Vaughn, you know, he expressed his feelings to her and he also told her the two other ladies that he fancied in the house. So, you see, I need to give Juicy J three big bottles of Zobo and plenty, plenty Akara because he has done well. I like that he's been open and he, he, he's doing his things smartly. He's making smart moves smart moves he is a mature guy and sincerely speaking he has won my votes he is one of my favorite housemates he asked Ipeleng if she is in a relationship with Luke because he sees her and Luke move around together all the time and Ipeleng said nope they are not in a relationship I, to Luke, I feel like I'm more comfortable with him because we kind of talk a lot we are oh, like yes, you know yes, yes. So we and she's comfortable around Luke and that's why she's always with Luke but today she decided to avoid Luke and associate herself with the other housemates you know mingle with them have conversations with them which makes so much sense I like that Ipeleng is opening up you know and she's freeing herself I like that a lot then Ipeleng asked a sweet shocking question <laughs> do you think that you would want to be in a relationship how would you be in a relationship in this house you he asked uh, uh juicy j if he would love to be in a serious relationship in the house with any of the ladies and he was like wherever the wind blows mm. it blows also, it, you, you know, wherever you the wind blows of, for yeah, me yeah. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if it, it's possible that it can happen. I mean, it, it is I mean, good for us, you know what I mean? it's it's something that can be possible you know what i'm saying and i would love for juicy j to be with a girl you know to form an emotional connection with at least one of the girls in the house i appreciate juicy j i like his ways you know what i'm saying <laughs> now olivia and teotro had a conversation today and teotro you know was talking with olivia in a, in a nice way i think he likes her and he, he was trying to get to know her better but olivia is not flowing with the guy olivia no like the guy because she feels he flirts a lot with the other ladies she even told him you know she told him that i don't like guys that flirt with the, with girls i i don't vibe with guys like that flirt a lot am i flirting a lot yeah how i don't know but i think that's who you are <laughs> it's not intentional though that's it, that's who you are. But it seems Tio Travis does not still get the point, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think there will be a relationship between Olivia and Tio Troll. I, I always mistake Tio Troll for Tio Travis. Well, so um, afterwards, Ipeleng had an interesting discussion with Yemi, 
Who chow? That discussion is lengthy. I'm going to create another video for that. Watch out for that. Kindly subscribe. Kindly click on the like button. Kindly comment. What do you think about Juicy J, Ipeleng, um, Olivia, Tio Tro? What do you think about them? What do you think about their connections, their conversations? Kindly share your thoughts with me in the comment section below.